Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today. Right now, UGM is now a phenomenon in Southeast. And for a while now, they have been the one enforcing sit at home order. And, but in recent past, there, there is a new order being given that May 5th and 6th should be sit at home order cut across Southeastern region simply because the president, President Mahmoud Buhari, will be going on a working visit, two day working visit to a Boeing state. Right now, in some hours ago, rather some hours ago, in Ariara Market, Aba in Abia State, southeastern region, uh, was seen with UGM physically telling the people not to uh, open fifth seat, fifth and sixth of May, that there will be a sit at home order to to discourage or to show their grievances against the president. Of course, they were also saying in Imo State, Abia is the one that seemed to be bringing a lot of tension. As you speak, other states, man, uh, the likes of uh, uh, Raf, uh, I think that again, the likes of Chief Mbazuli Kiamechi have decided to say this and is telling them the consequences and the implication of what they are doing, what they will jeopardize Southeastern region for, and what they will stand to totally lose if this and here, this is what he has to tell them. Well, before we go into the news, proper like and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it. You see about notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, Elder Statesman Chief Mbazuliki Amechi has appealed to the armed groups to withdraw the sitatum purportedly ordered on the May 5th and May 6th in Southeast over the planned two day visit of President Mahmoud Buhari Tebo in state. Recorded that Governor David Umahi on Tuesday announced that the President, President Muhammad Buhari, would be in a Boeing state for two days, Thursday and Friday. However, a report made round on Wednesday evening that the dreaded UGM have declared sitatum all over Southeast region during the President's visit and further threatened to be ruthlessly, to ruthlessly deal with anyone caught disobeying the order. Reacting to the report, Amechi in a chat with newsmen begged the armed men behind the sit at home threat not to commit acts that would embarrass Ndibo and jeopardize, jeopardize the concerted effort being made to release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namdekano, from detention. He said in a quote, I read on social media that a militant group has issued a statement against the coming of the president to the southeast. And I want to appeal to whosoever, whosoever or, or group behind the statement to please withdraw that threat. In spite of my old age, my old age plus the aching pains all over my body, I am almost in a wheelchair, yet I am highly committed to restore peace in Igbo land. I am on my way to Enugu to meet the president along with some Igbo leaders about the security of our region, which is interwoven in the continued detention of Namdekano. We are going to discuss these with him, so anything that would embarrass us or the president would make things difficult for us. And anybody who is moving against our meeting with the president is not really pursuing the genuine interest of Namdekano and the overall interest of Igbo land. So I appeal to them not to, not to do anything that would embarrass Southeast because we are going to discuss the insecurity and in Namdekano's case, Bikono. Bikono. Kachineke Mezuku. Now let's see the pulse of Nigerians as they react to this. It's no longer news. This one here is saying it's no longer news that that you're you're not respected by the people you purportedly to be fighting for even the president knows that your kids ipob esn have no respect for you ask the president of ohanes in Dibu. his house was burnt he's not a refugee in his Igbo land what an insult please sir retire to your bed and turn off from this drug infested people uh, uh, okay this one here is saying it is a known fact that as rain beat the slave it's beating the slave master as well an attempt to escape from danger will eventually prove unsuccessful. It's always better advice to stand fast and receive whatever comes at the moment as your fate. Hmm. This one here is saying, 
When you people begged for his bill the first time he was giving bill and suddenly he ran away. You can't provide him to the government and he continued to create problems and now seamlessly you are still going to the president for bail again? Somebody answered him to come on short of Anoman. Anoman <laughs> this one here is saying, why did you send Operation Python down to his home? Is it to kill him? Nanja is really not getting it right. And that person here is saying, the people are really tackling themselves here and that person here is saying you have been visiting the president tell us the agreement he kept with you ever since you thought the president listens to you you only listen to his fulani led northern elders forum mm -hmm. and that person here is saying the president is visiting and someone is ordering sit at home and foresee trouble <sighs> this one here is saying please who is IPB fighting Igbo or Buhari but I haven't seen stain on his body but death all over Igbo land who is winning <clears throat> That's a big question. Somebody's asking who is winning, but they haven't seen any stain on President Mahmoud Buhari Agbada. But yet there are blood stains everywhere in Southeast. That's food for thought. Now, Amechi Mbazulike, as an old man, let's be truthful to ourselves. He's playing on the diplomatic card he can. You know when they started this whole autopilot, I knew they would come for me. But let me hear my, my let me hear my views. We can meet in a conversation. Let's discuss it one on one. You say autopilot. The elder said, "Calm down. If does if this doesn't work, then you can do your autopilot. You don't use your last resort for your first resort. If you use your last resort for your first resort, they will tell you to do your worst. You've already done the worst. So what's there again? What's there to do again? The elder said, "Calm down, youths." We we'll understand your 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 glory lies in your strength. Calm down, youth. Let's see how we can sustain the region and also prevent every form of uh, reduction in the population of our youth. They said no. That if they don't do sit at home, if they don't do autopilot and sit at home, they will forget Mazen and Kano. And an elder statement is telling you, in all in all sincerity, he's an old man. What does he have to what does he have to gain or lose? What would he gain in lying to people or lying to his own children? He said, look, we are working on modalities. Please, can you allow them to do this, do that? Nobody listened to him. There's this adage that said there's something that, uh, there's some, the thing that an elder man will sit down, lying down on the ground to see, the youth will climb the highest tree, they will not see it. I know the glory of a youth is his strength, but please be mindful of how you use your strength to your own destruction. Now he's begging that look, he's traveling that even though his body's aching him, he'll be traveling down to meet the president at the point where they're supposed to be before he comes out there by instead. And he wants to plead. But even if he wants to plead, by the time the president keeps hearing the threats against his life, keep hearing uh the challenges of insecurity, despite the fact that he said he's going to control his children, which is a bam bazulike, and yet he's unable to control the children, or children does not listen to him when he gives order or gives instruction, then that means he's even the children he cannot control. Then even the president can use it against him that if you cannot control this, your little Two children, how am I so sure that if I release my son, the kind of you will control him? So, which means sometimes you need to be careful if truly this sit at home is actually in for the release of my son, or working against his release. Think, let's meet in our conversation.